Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today we're going to be looking at how you can create your shop or website using Tmill. Tmill is a great environmentally friendly, sustainable print-on-demand website. All their products are used, um, made using um, reusable materials and some of their products can be sent back to be recycled and made into new products, which is awesome. So once you log in to Tmill, using the top right signing in you'll be at your dashboard from here the other day we talked about um, adding products where you can do that there now to kind of set up your shop and uh, website you need to click on the website tab and here you're going to be taken to a thing that says my store it shows your URL if you're looking for it and here if you have a custom URL that's what will show up at this moment I just have um, one with the Tmail attached to it there, which is fine. There's a bunch of tutorials that you can see there, and a lot of them will um, talk about how to use certain things, like how to use the blog editor um, to increase your traffic, um, and so on. You can click on that. So, um, first what you can go through is you can select um, a theme for your website. So this is the theme that I have chosen, and in this theme, you can change the font, the colors, um, a whole bunch of things <laughs> throughout each of those. And once you have one that you like, then you can hit save, and and that will save. I'm not going to go through each of those because that's going to take a long time, but you can see there's a lot of customization that you can do um, in this area, and you can get the theme um, to be as you would like. Some of these things are things that or some of the options are things that you can only edit here, while other stuff such as the size of the texting, uh, the color of the texts, and all that kind of stuff is going to be actually edited in on the page itself. But if you're looking to change like your background colors, um, the overall um, font menu fonts, all that kind of stuff, that's going to be changed here in the theme. I'm going to go back to this website page. If we click on logo there, this is where you can add your logo um, and how it's going to show up on the top of your website or in other places where you choose to put it. So I added my logo in there. Um, your menus, you can add different menus there. You can change the orders of them by clicking on the three dots. So I have art prints, clothing, and stickers at the moment. Then you can hit save once you got those. If you want to add, um, you can add add the text and then add the link. So I just linked, you know, I guess you could technically add um, collections or pages or um, different URLs if you would like to as well. Blogs. So this is if you're adding... Um, yeah, like it says blog. So if you have a news part of your website that you want to put on, maybe updating things that you're up to, um, maybe adding tips of your own, this is where you can add new blogs to this website. And then you could make a menu option linking to your blogs so you can uh, people can find them. Collections. So I use collections um, instead of or not instead of, I use collections to help me sort my products and then it's easier for me to show these products in these collections um, on the pages which I will show you in a little bit. So right now I have clothing, stickers, art prints, new and all products are just default um, for you there and you can use those if you would like as well. All right, so now let's go into pages. This is where you're really, really going to be doing some editing here. And so I've got just three pages right now. So I've got a home page, I've got art prints, and I've got clothing. Um, I believe when I first started, if I remember right, it, it's been a little while now, there was an about me page that was defaulted on here. I can't remember if there was a contact or not. But if you have any of those pages that you want to keep, that's fine, you can keep those and then you can just edit those um, from there. So I just want to show you, let's go onto the home page here, click on your home page or create your home page if there's not one there. Here it's bringing it up in mobile view first, which is nice. You can see both mobile view and desktop view. 
um, to see if they're if they're both working properly. I'm going to just go to the desktop view. So here you can see this is um, this is my home page right now. Yours is going to have just default text in each of the spots where you're going to have to go in and add your own text. So here you can just click on this section. I added in this photo and the text Brian Sloan artist below it. Um, it's a slideshow type but I don't actually have more than one picture so it just stays on the one picture right now but you could add multiple pictures in to be like a slideshow of your products or a slideshow of your blog other things like that below it I have two buttons one for art prints one for clothing and those can be buttons where um, people can click on those to go to those pages on my on my website Blow it. I've left this here. This is just a little area where you can add a quote. I think that's what it was on this theme by default. So then I just added in my own um, little quote. Underneath, I added a trending now section. So actually, I'll show you first. If we go to this quote, you can once you click on it, then you can change the text. You can change the font style, the color, background color of that block area, box color. There's a lot of different editing that you can do there. Below there I have a trending now <clears throat> and I've just added in different um, products added a little text underneath and then there's the action that let me just scroll down so you can see that this button goes places so I could then I haven't actually updated that yet as you can see so I could change this to say um, art print shop and then you can see here by clicking on the link it's going to take me to this and I can make it go to the collection which is art prints and hit done and there you go you can see it's changed to art print shop and everything is set there then the advanced button alignment maybe I want it more in the middle so I just changed the middle which I like better anyways Below that, there's another little space. I think this part was here already, but I did like that. I'm just kind of talking a little bit more about how T-Mill uses natural materials, renewable energy, plastic-free packaging, which is awesome. Another little quote from me. Again, you can change that just by clicking on it. And notice here that if you ever want to add anything, <coughs> excuse me, if you ever want to add anything in between or if you don't if you feel like something's missing on a page just hit the plus button and it's going to give you all these different options so you can go through and add an, an Instagram um, place where people can follow you a video a grid text quote banner feature all that kind of stuff products you can add you know triple of products a quad of products collections blogs pages all that in here so here in the top picks it this is a product one and so I've got just a, my collection from all products so it's showing not just art prints not just uh, clothing not just stickers a little bit of everything and then you can see the different editing options that you have there <coughs> Then I have a little about me section with a couple of photos, how to sign up for a newsletter, some policies that are standard there, and then that's all I have. If you ever want to add more blocks, then again on the bottom that gives you a spot to do that as well. On the right hand side you can see a page title. So this is Brian Sloan Artist and I can say in the page description we'll just do that then it shows you your little Google preview there visible on sitemap you can share it there once you have things updated as you want them to then you can hit save and there you go it's saved so that's that's the gist of how to edit a page that's kind of already there I want to go back here though just click on the website pages if I click new you, it gives you a blank template, a short or a long, or a, 
Um, some other ones are about gift guide custom news. I'm just going to go blank real quick here. So I'm going to add a banner to the top, just a small one. So you can see if you don't want buttons, just delete the text and they'll disappear. And I'll change that photo later, but if you'd like to, to change the photos, just click on the upload image button here. And actually, let's click on it and see what we got. It'll give me these other options available that are here. So I'm just going to put in stickers. So we'll just use this one for now. And then underneath I can add a new block. Maybe I'll want to add um, some text. Okay, there we go. There's a little heading there. We're going to add a new block underneath and we're going to add um, products and we're going to add some stickers in there if you wanted to add an, um, like a gallery of stickers you could do that the triple will look very similar oh I went on collections sorry um, the triple of products if we want to look at that real quick here We'll go down to stickers as well. You can just see it's three instead of four. If you want to adjust it, you can do that or trash it just by clicking on it and then going to the bottom right corner. Again, page title is on the right. If you want to change your page URL, you can hit advanced and go down and change that page URL. I'll leave that. I don't, I don't mind that as, as it is. There you go. You can see it in the mobile view there. Head back here. So then if you want to actually look at your... So here's my website as it is. Um, you can go through and see how everything looks, see if things are spaced out, ni spaced out nicely, all that kind of stuff. Um, I do want to show you here, instead of having actual pages for um, these, for the products like the art prints, clothing, and stickers, um, instead these are just the collections and it actually brings them up nicely. People can um, look at them in types, colors, and sizes for the art prints, clothing, and the stickers. So you'll notice that this actually isn't the page that I just created. I created the page um, just kind of as an example for you um, today. And in order to do that, just make sure you have a collection here with the products, all the products that you want in them. And then on your website, you can, for your menu, have this navigate just to the collection itself and then that'll automatically have that nice page there for you and then you don't need to feel like you're creating this beautiful page or putting a lot of effort into a page just for products that will be there for you um, just from having a collection created already and that makes it really easy for people to um, see those products organized nicely if you wanted to do like another one with all of your products um, you should al already have um, a collection with all of your products, right? And then you can that could be used as a link as well. So just make sure when you're creating the link to it that you're clicking on collection, then clicking on the collection that you'd like um, to use for that. I think that's all I have for you today. I, I tried to cover most of it for you as quickly as possible. I know this one is a little bit longer than other ones, but I hope this will help you out. If you have any further questions, please let me know. I will do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. Check out their support page as well, as they do have a lot of supports um, in place to help you out. t is a great company. I'm enjoying using their website. Uh, so if you, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for joining me on this one. Make sure you like this video and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And we'll see you next time on Brian Sloan Artist.